do today? We're gonna paint these paws a little bit. Well, which one do you want to pick? Which this one did one. we figure out we want to do? This one. This one. That one? Oh, this one. Here, show the camera. This one. Look. That one? Look. Mm -hmm. So, that one, how would we make it look like a Mad Max car? Wait. What do we have to do? Paint it brown? We could. Or black. Maybe take this, these wheels off, and then put them on that car. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Mm hmm. Did you hear that from me, or you just made that up? That's not. <laughs> we did. What about some other parts? Are there other parts you want to take off? Wait a minute. That bumper. Maybe. Maybe. That's a cool bumper, huh? Yep. We can like. <gasps> oh. There's nothing going on Oh there. my gosh! We could paint it like this. That don't look like a Mad Max car. That's... There's nothing really that I also want to put on. What about those wheels? Are those big? Too big? Yeah, the, these can go on this. That's How better. About just the back wheels. Well, yeah. So it'll be like jacked up. Oh, sit down so we can see your face. Oh, sorry. Um, this. Let's use back wheels oh, for this. Oh my! Oh show, my! Show the camera let's, the back wheels. Let's use. These are like big off-road wheels. Let's and I want it to go like get it. this part off, so we can it can like show this, so it can be like a little cool uh, thing. What? <laughs> show the close. camera again, right here. What? It could be like that. If, with a little if we much. put the back wheels of this on here, it would be just like ah. like that. It'd be jacked up in the back. Yeah, it would just be like. <laughs> what else? What other parts we got? Headlights. I don't know. We want to make it fast, right? Fast. Wait. Which one's the first fastest? Wait. I don't know. We could get that tire and put it. Whatever one is somewhere. the fastest, we could take those wheels off and put it on there. Okay, you want to try it? Maybe. Sure. Oh, Let's try it on the floor. He literally said on the floor. Oh. Well, no, we can go ahead and do it on there. What, oh. So what, uh... Let's do it. So we're going to pass it. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Uh, Jimmy. Uh, put them all in the line. Oh, that one put them down. But this one we don't have to test because, right? Okay. We don't have to test it because it's literally the one we're going to be using. Yeah. Okay. That one. Whoa. Ooh, it almost hit the line. Oh. oh, that one. Here, let's race them at, right at the camera. Race them oh. to the camera. Okay. Let's smash into it. Oh. Okay, oh. ready, set, go. Ah. Oh, it hit the camera. <laughs> oh, no. Bye-bye. <laughs> what I think is the fastest is ah. this one. Ah. That one? Yeah. yeah. So it could be the front wheels. Okay, well, maybe we should make two. Two. We'll make one really, really Wait, Mad Max with I, guns. I have a good idea. And we'll make the other one just keep it like it is. I want this one, these two wheels in the front, and then these two wheels on the back, on the back. Okay? How about okay. So we're let's take these. This glass, these glass parts off and put them on the Mad Max parts. Like but it's already this, green, so we this. don't need it uh, blue. You don't like it green? I don't, I don't It's a light, like it. pretty lime green. This, How about that part? This. Ooh, that's a good choice. Yeah. Square body green. We decided these four wheels. Wait. Okay, um, what else? I'm not going to do it. How about else. that part? Um, the back? Yeah, the like back that. Part? Like that. But like, oh, I don't know. It's kind of weird looking. Oh, I'll put it on the side. The, good? All the... What is this? Are we good? <laughs> all no, these that's... we're gonna be using. What are, what are all the parts that we need for a Mad Max car? We could guns. paint them. We, we don't have any guns though. We I'm could. Like group. Yeah, we have to use our imaginations. How do you do the SpongeBob imagination thing? Imagination. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we did both did it at the same time. So how about? <gasps> How about we use like I was a thinking of stuff like this. Oh for a gun. Let you me... know what this is? No. What is that? See if it'll fit as a gun. 
This we can wrap around it. We can cut it and wrap around it. Should we put it like Just wrap it all around it? Do you think it would yeah. get stuck? Do you think tires? we should put this like right here? Like a big gun? Yeah. We you should wrap this what? around the it's gun. It's a hollow wall anchor for a mm -hmm. screw. Mm. We should wrap this. We should cut it like about this long. Uh huh. Then wrap it around the gun on the handle. Oh, okay. It'll look like a real gun. Do real guns have that wrapped around it? No, but it'll look like a real Mad Max gun. Oh, okay. What else? That this is. in here is where all the parts we're going to be using. Right? Okay, so we're going to use one of everything of these. Except this. this. We're going to use that? We're going to use this. How about if we took two of these and we made dual cannons? Oh, cannons! Good idea. It's like two guns. I want to put Good one idea. like right here. Okay. I want to put one right there. Right over the and, engine? Yeah. Okay, we'll figure something out. Or maybe right like this. Oh, I'm gonna look at that. Well, the kids got bored pretty quickly, so it was up to me to finish these uh, these cars off here. So I started by spray painting the bodies and the bottoms and the, the seats and everything, this nice flat black. And you can tell it was pretty hot. It was 97 today. Um, so... Everything dried pretty nicely. I started taking that body apart on the car that I really wanted. I took some rear wheels off. I was doing some experimenting with some different, a um, couple other cars. You can see their off-road one, the NASCAR one. But I didn't like any of them as much as uh, this other truck, that truck you can see there with the blue hood. And here I'm mixing up some JB Weld to get the uh, the axle to stick in there, that rear axle. So you can see the big one, the rear ones are a little bigger. Here I clipped off the whole front doghouse of that car. I didn't like any of it, and I really liked the way it looked once I got that off, and it was just, the whole front was exposed like that. It just added so much more to it. Now here, I'm going to paint, and you can see this very precise uh, technical method of painting, and it's called paperclip painting. And I just dipped it in some silver uh, aluminum paint, and... Uh, what I do is I dry, kind of dry rag it, I guess. You know, you've heard of dry brushing. I do dry ragging. What I do is I basically go through, I get a little bit on there, I dab it with the rag, and then I dab it with my finger, and I just make sure that it looks, uh, it doesn't look too crisp. You know, this is a Mad Max car, so it's pretty worn out. So here I get the rag, I dip it in the, a little bit in the silver paint, and I'm rubbing it around to make uh, more of a, you know, like a tarnished metal look. And this is something I've done since I was younger. Uh, a lot of people dry brush. I do it like this. I don't know why, but it just always seems to, to work out really well for me. Uh, I used to do this on my model cars years and years ago. Um, so now that I have that part done, I have it set up to where the, uh, you know, the, the silver is kind of shining through and it looks tarnished. Now I get these acrylic paint, this cr acrylic brown. And I actually used a couple different shades of this brown. I use a darker and then I went a little bit lighter, which is more like a rust color. And I got those on there to make it look both muddy and rusty. Uh, this is the, the darkest brown, so it's kind of the mud layer. Uh, and then I'll go back later and I'll do the, uh, the, the rust color later. But you can see how this is forming up. And of course, you know, even though this is kind of a finished product at this point, it's not my 100% finished product. I don't like to do that. I, I want to show, you know, with the car, the go-kart, the truck, everything together is, my final product isn't going to be what's on this video. It's going to be what's at Wasteland Weekend. So you'll just have to go out there and see it or wait for the videos when I come back and, and see what I've done. And here it is. Here's the finished product. Uh, a couple different angles there. You can see the rust coming through. You can see the engine still pretty shiny. And one thing I decided to do as kind of an afterthought was I wanted to make a replica or at least a uh, a tribute a tribute to the uh, the Thunderhead um, truck that is kind of the the vehicle that the main Farlanders drive you know the one that we worked on in a previous episode I wanted to get that truck in 164th scale and I just wanted to race it at the at the death race just for the heck of it and then when I'm done, I'm going to give it to um, Adept and Bridger. So no one tell them, no one tell the Farlanders, the other Farlanders, that this is my plan. It'll be our little secret, okay? Don't tell them.